Now, to give a bit of background, conventional condensing units employ a time delay relay and a low pressure switch. Now they're there, the time delay is there, just to make sure that we don't short cycle the compressor when we have a call for cooling. So there's a three lay dwell or three minute dwell. So here's the problem. On a call for cooling with the QRC or an intelligence system, it's going to start looking for superheat immediately. But that TDR is not all going, to, going to let that compressor or fans outdoors run at all. And so it has none. So what does the system do? Well, that EEV starts to close off looking to raise superheat. But the compressor is not running at all, so it has none. Meanwhile, when that TDR does have the three minute elapsed time, now it's going to call for the compressor to come on. But remember, the system is closed off, so the system is going to, com con going to pump down almost immediately. And there's the cycle begins. Pump down opens the low pressure switch and now we we eliminate power from that TDR and it's going to reset the three minutes and so around it goes pump down wait pump down wait pump down and wait now this situation is not going to manifest itself right away so with a warm box it may be 24 to 48 hours before this situation starts to manifest itself but then that's what you have so now what do we do? Well, here's what has to happen. Now we know that these were put in place to protect the compressor. And so in years past, before the advent of electronic controllers, you had a situation where, okay, we have a TDR and a low pressure switch. We can protect the compressor with those two components quite well. And so now what we have to do is either bypass the TDR or eliminate it altogether and then if you have a TDR that's adjustable make sure that the adjustment is down to 30 seconds or less. Now to keep the warranty in force just in years past we had to employ because with some scroll compressors you had some bleed through of, of refrigerant and raising the pressure on the low side of the system. So to counteract that for medium temperature systems, we have a check valve on the discharge side of the system. And also for low temp systems, so that discharge, that check valve is gonna be on the low pressure side of the system, just to make sure we keep that in force. But you see that system like that, conventional still has a TDR. So remember we bypass, which just means clipping some wires, capping them off, just to make sure that low pressure switch still stays in force and does its job, allow that to happen. And then we, we eliminate that circle, that circle back, pump down, start up, pump down, start up, pump down, and start up after we reach that temperature. So that's a very important step to make. Now, we're gonna now show you uh, a, a graphic of having a, a standard a wiring diagram so you'll see the time delay relay where it is and then as you see this uh, uh, this exploded view you'll see where the two wires on that TDR need to be clipped and capped. Please note that on some systems there are two TDRs one wired in parallel with the low pressure switch to bypass the switch during low ambient conditions this must not be tampered with. The other TDR, or time delay relay, is wired in series with the low pressure switch. This is the one that needs to be bypassed by pulling the wires, stripping them, and wire nutting them together. As always, we hope this was helpful, and thank you for joining in this volume two of Insights from the Field, Avoiding TDR Conflict with Electronic Controls. Thanks for joining us.